With the release of a brand new Yamaha Clavinova line, we always like to go back and look at the predecessor. Today, we compare the Yamaha 645 to the brand new for 2020 745. Let's check it out. Hi, Patrick Marr with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you haven't already, please check out our other videos and our other YouTube channels. Sign up for notifications, like our videos, leave us comments. We really love to interact with you guys and appreciate all the support you guys give us. Today, we're looking at the Yamaha 745, the COP series, brand new for 2020, a new release. We've done a video of an overview of the 745, um, but we're really excited today because we actually had the predecessor, the CLP 645. And because there were some really cool improvements in the new one, we're really excited to bring them both to you and let you guys decide, do you like the new updated samples? Do you like some of the new features on the 745? What are actually the differences? And we want to make it short and succinct so you guys can get all your information right here. So starting with the 645, it's a great price point because it has a lot of cool features in it that a lot of digital pianos don't. Wooden keys, for example. Wooden keys are what are on every acoustic piano. It's a really great feel because you feel kind of the vibrations through the woods echoing into your fingers. And it, it sounds cheesy, but you really can feel the difference when you're playing on wood keys versus on some of the plastic hollow keys that are in lesser expensive uh, digital pianos. And not to knock any of those, there's some really great, great playing digital pianos that have all plastic keys, and there's some really expensive ones that are just play fantastic. But I really enjoy for a piano learning student or for an experienced player or someone who really just enjoys the dynamic feel of an instrument, wood keys are a huge upgrade. So on the 645, they have that over the 635 and the 625, the models below it. On the 745, they continue that tradition, and this is the entry point into getting those wooden keys. The big difference, though, is on the 645, there's an action called the NWX. Uh, and so the NWX is a great feeling or great feeling keys. It's had been passed down from the higher graded Clavinovas over the years and made its way down to um, the entry of the wooden keys once they've progressed. The new 745 has the Grand Touch S feel. So Grand Touch was brought to us in the last generation in the 685, which is an incredible feeling instrument a lot more similar to a full acoustic grand piano, longer keys than any other digital piano on the market that has wood keys. And you just really get a nice feel because of that longer key. Of course, on an acoustic instrument, the keys are very long, um, and a lot of that control, dynamic control, is, is built on a longer key. They wanted to bring that as much as they could into a digital piano. So on the Grand Touch S, you are getting um, a lot of those features of the Grand Touch system it's not as advanced as the full Grand Touch that you get on the 785, um, but they did incorporate the Grand Touch S into the 745. So those are some of the things that you guys won't be able to feel here listening to me talk about it and play the samples, but it is something to, to note because if you are comparing the 745 versus maybe you have the 645 or maybe you have a 545, that is a huge upgrade. And so just really cool that Yamaha did that. They also took some of our favorite samples, the Yamaha CFX and the Yamaha, Bo or not the Yamaha, the Bosendorfer Imperial, um, and they've updated those samples. And so the CFX is, not, is Yamaha's nine-foot piano. It's their concert grand seen on many stages around the world in competitions and universities. It's just an incredible, incredible instrument. The Bosendorfer Imperial, Imperial is a nine foot from Bo Bosendorfer who Yamaha owns. And they brought both of those pianos and they did binaural samples on them for the new 745. The previous 645 had the binaural sample only on the Yamaha CFX, but they've redone all of the sampling on both of these instruments or on, on the 745, sorry, on the, the Bosendorfer and on the CFX. Uh, it just sounds great, but we're really excited to bring you the old model that doesn't have the updated ones and then the new ones. You let us know if you guys can hear a difference. Um, that's kind of one of the biggest things, upgrades into the 745. They've also incorporated Bluetooth MIDI, which was uh, a customer kind of uh, ask when it was on the 645. People wanted to be able to put their iPad on there and control the Smart Piano app with Bluetooth connection, something that we're, as consumers, very 
familiar with now is being able to control things wirelessly. Um, the 645 had Bluetooth mid or Bluetooth audio, so you could play music from your phone or from your iPad into it, and it would play through the speakers. Now the 745 has Bluetooth audio, but also has Bluetooth MIDI to use that controller from the Smart Piano app directly to it without any wires um, needing to be connected. So a cool upgrade there. It also has something that's called grand expression modeling. And so both of them have the virtual resonance modeling. That's something that Yamaha has put on all of their Clavinova lines. The virtual resonance modeling is the acoustic modeling of what an acoustic piano does when you, say, strike a chord, what the strings do over the long, over the, first, the, the next five seconds, over the next 10 seconds, what the wood does over the next couple seconds, and that resonance that kind of is intoxicating about an acoustic instrument, it, it has a modeling system that does that and interprets what you just did and then models what a piano would be doing and gives you that. So still has the virtual resonance modeling. The grand expression modeling, however, is brand new for the 745. And that grand expression modeling has to do more with the mechanics of the piano. And so what the hammers feel like, what they sound like, um, what the keys, what's all the mechanism doing when you're striking that chord or when you're playing. And so the grand expression modeling is brand new for the 700 series from Yamaha. Just great, great feeling instrument. Also on the brand new 745, they have something called the real grand expression 2. This has to do more with the dynamic range of the instrument. If you're playing it ever so softly or very loud, it's going to be able to incorporate more of that dynamic range than ever before on any of their Clavinova series. So very excited to show you guys that as well. It's, it's something that's really for the player because you're able to dynamically express yourself a little bit more than, say, on the previous generations or on older digital pianos. And so they're able to bring all this new technology into that 745 it's really cool. They've added a couple more voices. Nothing, nothing crazy. I think it's two more voices. Um, but just trying to pack this thing full of new, great sounding things for a pianist. It really kind of focuses around the feel and the sound of those the Yamaha CFX and of the Bosendorfer Imperial. Um, so just incredible. We're going to listen to them now and let you guys decide, is the sampling, is all those upgrades, are they worth it? So let's check it out.
Well, I'll tell you, when I was playing the 645 and the 745, they both sound and feel great. I did notice a little bit more dynamic control with the 745, just ever so slightly. It's something that's just, it's, it's nice because it feels like they really kind of took the time and effort to make it a little more expressive. The sampling, of course, sounds great. Um, I didn't play with headphones on. We did, we did an actual direct line out. Um, and so you'll be able to hear that binaural sample. It's direct from this. And so the binaural sample, again, is, is basically they stuck a dummy in front of their nine-foot pianos, and the mics are where your ears would be, and you get to experience these beautiful, amazing-sounding instruments as if you were sitting in front of them. And so that binaural sample, incredible technology from Yamaha, and great, great insight for them to say, hey, what if we, were the, what if we put the mics where the pianist was sitting and, and where you actually hear the instrument in the full room, what does that sound like? And so they're trying to bring that directly to you, to your home, to your studio. And it's just, it's very neat that they're thinking that way. Um, also, the, uh, the new 745 and the new 700 series has something called the Forte Pianos. And we've addressed this in a previous video, um, but those are built after what classical composers of the, of the 19th century and even earlier played on and wrote on. Um, and so it's, it's, they're, they're very interesting and they're fun to mess around with, um, but we'll, we did want to show you guys that sample as well. That's new for the 700 series and kind of fun to play around with. On this model, there's two of them. As you move up the line to, say, the 785, I think there's four Forte pianos. Um, so that's also just a cool thing that Yamaha added to, to this. Um, and again, the action is completely different on both of these. And as a player, you can feel the differences. I'm not going to say the NWX is bad. I think it was a great, a great feeling instrument or great feeling action with great wood keys i really do like this new grand touch feel um i think i liked it on the 685 and I, I really enjoy that they're bringing it down the line and making it more accessible and priced to everybody um so hope you guys enjoyed it let us know what you guys thought if you had an opportunity to play the new 700 series specifically the 745 let us know what your your uh interpretation of playing it was and did you love it as much as maybe the 645 if you played those we're Alamo Music Center. We're in San Antonio, Texas. If you ever want to come play, come check us out. Give us a call. Find us online at alamomusic.com, where we have a chat agent available to answer any questions. If you have questions about these digitals or any digital piano, we can answer it there. Um, again, please sign up for notifications, like our videos, sign up for more great content, and leave us comments. Thanks for watching.